It is of no surprise the backlash that Disney is facing when you have a company that continues to change their original characters and what made them a success into a completely different version of themselves rather than creating a whole new IP or franchise. And it comes as no surprise when Disney released a trailer for Peter Pan and Wendy, it has been ratioed into the abyss. Once again proving that no one wants this, especially these live action adaptations of Disney's original animated films. And it certainly doesn't help when you take Tinkerbell and Race Swapper as well as making the Lost Boys not a boy group anymore. And people were rejecting this having only 32,000 likes compared to its 219,000 dislikes on the trailer. And if you go to IGN or any other source that re-uploads these trailers, they're all getting ratioed and destroyed as well. And of course, with Disney, they're trying to silence the criticism that is being talked amongst many, especially YouTubers, having YouTube content creators such as Heel vs. Babyface and Drunk 3PO, as well as many others having their videos essentially blocked and taken off of YouTube's platform, just because of their opinion that they gave on the trailer and many either have to blur out certain parts of their video or just cut out clips that cause that copyright even though it falls under fair use and this is what heel vs babyface had to say on twitter disney is blocking people talking about their latest piece of upcoming dog shit pedo pan they know their agenda is tired and old but it's a hill they're seemingly willing to die on just like antifa man died at the box office hey yo and with most reactions, it falls under fair use, but of course, when criticism is being brought up, especially by creators, companies such as Disney always find a way to silence them, and in most cases, videos don't get taken off of the platform, but rather they are copyrighted and the video is demonetized. But importantly, the video is still up and not taken down. And oftentimes, once a manual review concludes on those videos, the claim is taken down and all is dandy. But we are also seeing Drunk 3PO getting a copyright block. As you can see with these two symbols right here, one symbol means that you aren't making no cheddar and the other symbol means that your video is blocked and no one can see it, which is very unusual as that doesn't happen that often, especially when it comes to Disney. As with these reactions, it's free marketing for them, but in this case, with the criticism that is being brought to them, it would hurt them more than actually having a gain from these reactions. And rightfully so, because this content no one was asking for or wanting to get, but yet here we are continuing to get this crappy content that no one wants. To which we are now seeing people finally being sick of all this crap with what Disney is doing to these characters that are already established. Having the same people that this company is trying to pander to with all their pronouns and their groups that they're associated with and so on. They're finally starting to wake up and realize that this is all bullcrap. Having Alex here saying this, Disney couldn't care less about making new stories with person of color characters. They just put person of color people to play white characters and that shows one, how lazy Disney is, two, how racist this is. It's like they don't think people of color deserve their own stories besides like three animated movies and that's just one person there are plenty of more responses that are just like that and i wouldn't be surprised if once again we have an actor or actress come out and speak about the backlash that they're receiving as being racist and not just criticism for having disney change a beloved ip once again in the name of identity politics just imagine if a company were to have a person of color and race swap them to become white because that's what disney is doing except as vice versa like taking tiana from princess the frog and race swapping her just imagine how much hate that would get but of course they'll never do it because she's not white and the panic that disney has to be getting through all of this right now as we speak has to be a lot especially with the failure of ant-man and the wasp quantumania underperforming at the box office certainly doesn't help disney it also doesn't help when you go to the trailer most of the comments are just memeing at this point and many don't seem to be interested in watching this movie which shows because they ruined an ip that many people know and love because of the original animated film. And Disney knows that this movie wasn't going to do well at the box office, and instead of doing a release in theaters, they're taking it straight to Disney+. Plus. Yet again, another disaster when it comes to Disney and their agendas that they keep adding to these live-action adaptations of beloved movies that came out decades ago. We've seen the backlash that Little Mermaid got, as well as with Pinocchio, and now Peter Pan and Wendy, continue to show the complete incompetence that Disney's once again bringing to the table in their live-action adaptations, with having identity politics in these movies, rather than making good stories with good characters characters and new characters of all colors that are original. Yet again, this will be another sole failure for Disney, and I'm all here for it. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.